Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and my gaming news series. This is where I like to look at everything going on in the world of gaming and keep you as up to date as possible. So let's get on with today's video. If you're a PlayStation VR 2 headset owner and you've been less than satisfied with Sony's first party support for getting games onto the headset, never mind Sony, it's over to the PC to save your headset. PC support is coming from August the 7th. Now, of course, the PlayStation VR 2 was built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. Running it on PC, there will be some differences. You're not going to have HDR. You're not going to have haptic feedback. You're not going to have eye tracking. But you will still have the 4K visuals and the 110 degree field of view. Now using the headset on PC unfortunately isn't just a case of plugging it in, you will need to buy an adapter from Sony called the VR PC adapter, that's $59.99 and you will need a DisplayPort cable that's compatible with 1.4. Now outside of the limitations that I've already mentioned, everything once you plug it in will work as a PC VR headset which is great news, it's not going to have some compatibility, it will work with all Steam VR titles and I've actually got a Rift S which is really showing its age now. So I'm actually looking forward to using this on the PC more than I ever was on the PlayStation 5. Now, of course, this is great news for PlayStation VR 2 owners who have a PC. PlayStation 5 owners that are just using it in that ecosystem, not so good. You're still left out in the cold, really, with regards to first-party releases. I mean, look at State of Play, for example, the most recent announcement for Astrobot. Was there any mention of VR? There wasn't, and it really does seem like they've completely dropped the ball with this headset. But I'd love you to go down into the comments section. Let's have a conversation about this. Do you think this is a good move by Sony? Do you think this is actually just a way from Sony to keep the PlayStation VR 2 headset relevant while effectively it dies on the PlayStation 5? Do you actually disagree with what I'm saying there? Do you think VR on the PlayStation is alive and well? And my opinion is actually wrong. I'd love to know in the comments section below. But I will be purchasing this and trying it out here on the channel. But that is everyone. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.